And this is the key to bouncing back because we get in trials, tribulations, and we get defeated. And this is the one key that I got from my spirituality from reading that, that dusty book that you never pick up called the Bible. And it, there's actually some good things that you can apply to your entire life, believe me. There's some actually good things in there. So uh, that's one book of, among many that I read. And I'm gonna read this to you and really take this in because it's life changing, it changed my life. It says, uh, 1 Corinthians 10, 13, for no temptation, test or trial, no matter how it comes or where it leads, has overtaken you and laid hold on you that is not common to man and is beyond human resistance and that is not adjusted and adapted to human experience and such as a man can bear. But God is faithful to his word and compassionate nature to be trusted. You can trust in him to not let you be tested or tried beyond your ability and strength of resistance to endure but with the test and the trial that you're in, he always provides a way out, escape or a landing place that you may be able and strong and powerful to bear up under it patiently. Because when you're trying to bounce back from something, you're going through a test, you're going through a trial, and we always want to give up. But guess what? If you read that and you break that down, which I won't go into, but what it's saying is no matter what you're going through, someone is going through it. And if you're in it, that means you can get out of it. Think about it. If you're in a situation right now, because God says that there's no test that you can't bear up under and that he doesn't give you escape to, you can get out of it. So with that, I conclude and I say that you win. You win. Ground yourself spiritually.